<laughs> yeah, exactly right, Peter. Right. Ended up being a preacher. All right. So uh, this is a session recap for the 12th day of uh, October. And this morning we were watching as we had a breakout with the CPI uh, coming out and it was positive and they're continuing to move to the upside. So we're going to get rid of this now. It's all, no longer in play. It's proven that it's going up. MACD tells you you're going up. We're going up on dollar. Dollar up means zero dollar to the downside. All right. So let me pull up the ATR here. Uh, all right, uh, ATR on Euro dollar, it already did its ATR right there. Euro dollar has an ATR of 72 pips and it went to that and it went to the next target. And then it's trying to get to the next target, all right? Nothing to do till tonight, but after tonight, if the dollar is still going up, look for Euro dollar to go down 72 pips. Pound dollar, all right? Same thing here, easily went to target and it targeted the next target. That's why you hold and then down she goes. And now we're still holding for here if you're in it. We can get rid of this because it's gone. All right. So uh, pound dollar has an ATR of <clears throat> 88 pips. Over to dollar Swissy tells you what the dollar is doing. And you can see at a falling wedge and a rise up all the way to the ATR, no problem. And now it's still moving up because the dollar is still moving up. That means that the ATR will go up on the dollar Swissy tomorrow. Instead of 71, it might be 73 pips because we did more than the ATR today. All right. So nothing to do, but after five o'clock, dollar still going up. Uh, watch for the uh, dollar Swissy to go up 71, 73 pips. Dollar yen, right? dollar yen, almost the target right now and keeps moving up there. We tried to trade this, but we missed that little pull back there. And so we lost it. And uh, anyway, target is up there at 150.15 with a 94 pip ATR. Aussie dollar broke out. Uh, there we go. So we can get rid of this uptrend now. And there we go. And easily went to target. And then where's it going? To the next target. Yeah, but that's 35 pips away. Yeah, well, they went. See, that means the ATR and the Aussie dollar is going to go up tomorrow. And Aussie dollar has a 67 pip. It would be 74, 75 pips tomorrow. All right. After five o'clock. Watch for that. Dollar still going up. Look for 74 pips down. Euro yen waited for this to pull back all day, just barely got up here, and uh, we can't really trade it until we get uh, a little higher than this, all the way up to here. Maybe we can trade it here, and uh, you know you can trade it, go up here, and then make the trade down. Now you can trade that, but you won't uh, want to trade it until the Asian market, and that means after five o'clock. So after five o'clock, you'll get a new ATR, and it'll be down here somewhere because all this right here will come down to here. See, uh, if it stays roughly the same ATR, all right? Euro yen, ATR on Euro yen is 118 pips. Pound yen, we're in this trade live. We're waiting for trade two to go on down below here. It is pulling back to the three up here. If it gets to the 382, those of you who missed this up here might consider it here. Those of you who took it up here would also consider adding a position here at the 382. Our target is the square up down here at 182.22. And uh, pound yen has an ATR of 138 pips. New Zealand dollar, right? Headed down, went to the ATR easily, then broke through and where to go? To the next target. That's why you hold for the next target. All right? New Zealand dollar has an ATR of 61 pips. Over to the exotics, Aussie yen and Aussie yen to the pip to its ATR, done for the day. There it is right there. Yeah, see, they knew where it was. Uh, the yen, uh, 93 pip ATR, all right? So that's three T30. So tonight, if a dollar's still going up, you see what it's doing against a dollar, look for 93 pips down. There's one, two, three, somewhere down in here tonight. That might be a really nice trade tonight on Aussie yen. Your Aussie, all right? To the pip, to its ATR, look at that. Man, oh man, how sweet was that? Nice, nice, nice. All right, we missed it. We missed that little pullback. That's where we had to get it and we missed it right there. Otherwise, that would have been our trade this morning. That would have been pretty sweet. All right, your Aussie, 125 pip ATR. Nice, nice, nice. All right, pound Aussie. All right, come on, pound Aussie. All right, pound Aussie was a blog post this morning, and we targeted this. This is trade two up here. If it looks like it's trying to push through, so it looks like it's going to go on and push through. So what you know right now is that Euro Aussie, Euro New Zealand, pound Aussie, and pound New Zealand are following the dollar. So watch, they got big ATRs. Pound Aussie ATR on Pound Aussie is 142 pips to the upside. So that's one, two, three, four, 
right up here. We're looking at the R5 tonight right there. Now, you got a problem with that, which is you're going to run into this channel here. So that's where the problem is, all right? Will they get there? I don't know. But if they break up here, take the range off and then see if you can readjust the, the channel on the uh, uh, pound Ozzy and get a better angle and we won't be slamming into that, all right? So what I mean by that, we'll go up here to the 240 and what you may do, let's do this. Let's go off the bottom here like this and over to here, heart line proven right there. We'll change this to a day chart trend, all right? So I know it's pink, all right? There we go. See, the heart line's proven the heart. As long as that heart line's proven, you can go with that, which means I'm going to get rid of this one right here. All right. And I know I'm, if I break the range, there's the opportunity this week. Ooh, mama, come to papa. That might be a real estate of the week trade uh, heads up there for you. Pound Aussie, uh, 142. All right. You're in New Zealand. Uh, you're in New Zealand, almost a target right now. It'll probably hit it because it's not very far away. They'll probably slam a wick into it, and that'll be it. And you watch the sell-off. There'll be a close and reverse there. Uh, so there we go. So nothing to do on it, but uh, you're in New Zealand has an ATR of 137 pips. How New Zealand, almost a target right now. And uh, there we are right there. And we tried to trade that, but we didn't get a pullback. We got the little pullback and then nothing. So, uh, and it's a small trade, so we just basically passed on it. Pound New Zealand, ATR is, let me get a little lower here. Here we go, 150 pips. All right, so watch for 150 pips up if the dollar keeps going up. New Zealand yen, all right, down, and we're just shy of target now by just a couple of pips. They missed it right here by three pips right there. That's all. Three pips is all they missed it by. Pretty close. All right, uh, New Zealand yen, ATR is 89 pips, also a fib sequence number. Watch for 89 pips to the downside tonight if dollar keeps going up. That's three T30s, uh, one, two, three. So probably down here to 80, 80, uh, 88 even tonight. And finally, pound Swissy. All right, pound Swissy at short shy of targets because we got a triple bottom right there. You don't think they know where that bottom is? They know where that bottom is. All right, there's nothing to trade to the downside, so walk away. All right, there we go. Pound Swissy has an ATR of only 54 pips. There we go. All right. All righty. Uh, 